Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what are the essential items on the VMware vSphere hardening best practices checklist. So as we are aware, ESXi host is the one of the key component in VMware vSphere. So within the VMware vSphere ESXi host, the one of the main hard hardening ch checklist item is <clears throat> Excuse me. U UEFI Secure Boot. Here, UEFI is nothing but a unified extensible firmware interface secure boot. So normally while booting the ESX operating system, we use this is the secure boot option. And once the ESX host implementation is completed, another hardening option is enable the lockdown mode. That means ESX host we cannot manage individually. We can manage only through the vCenter server and disable SSH. So production environment, this is the recommended hardening, but whenever it is necessary, we can enable. And once your activity is completed, again, keep the ESX host SSH session as a disabled state. And VAB acceptable levels, here VAB means vSphere install bundles. And disable SLP, here SLP means service location protocol. And usually it's a network service protocol that enables network devices to discover and locate services on the network. So some of the recommendation from VMware is we can disable SLP, service location protocol. And the CAM access levels, even CAM also one of the open source common information model. It's a framework for agentless standards based monitoring of hardware resources for ESX host, okay? And host to firewall and disable SNMP. So SNMP means simple network management protocol. Let's say if we have a multiple ESX host, to manage multiple ESX, we need a vCenter server. So within a vCenter server, also there are some hardening checklist items. So one of the key item is management session restrictions. Okay. And the management session means it's a WAMI page. Okay. VMware vCenter appliance management interface, okay, WAMI page, which is the port number is 5480. And a disable managed object browser and restrict cryptographic role and permissions and SSO account alerting and restrictions and enable TLS 1.2 and power CLI restrictions and VMware vCenter server firewall and also use approved certificates only within the production environment and use templates to deploy virtual machines. Instead of deploying the virtual machine from ISO as part of the production environment, we should make sure one master image for the, all the your OS flavors like Windows, Linux, Solaris, any other OSs. All the OS must have a master image template before making the VM as a template, that VM must have a hardened in the guest voice level. That hardened template only we can use for a production virtual machine deployment. Okay. And use SNMP version 3 instead of version 1 and 2. Recommendation for hard as part of hardening is use only version 3. Let's say we have ESX to manage multiple ESX. We have VMware vCenter server and then we can deploy the virtual machine. Even within a virtual machine level also, we have a hardening checklist. So same like ESXi, even virtual machine also recommend to use UEFI Secure Boot, which is Unified Extensible Firmware Interface Secure Boot. And removable device controls. Here, removable device controls means CD, DVD, and also unused devices like floppy drive. Okay, and minimize the use of VM console. So production and environment, it's not recommended. We always recommend to connect with a Windows machines remote desktop connection and for Linux and Solaris via SSH session. And deactivate host guest firewall file system, HGFS, and disable copy and paste drag and drop options for security reasons and restrict API access application program interface access and vMotion encryption. Even virtual machine level also recommend to enable encryptions. So I'm not include all the list of uh, hardening list, the most essential items only I'm highlighting in this slide. For more details within our Google, you can just type VMware vSphere hardening. You will find the official VMware guide, hardening guide. You can follow that. The same hardening you can apply it in the production environment. 
ओके एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लिस्ट वर्चुअल नेटवर्क सो विथ इन एस एक्स आई वी सेंटर एनवेंट वी हैव ए वी स्विचेस एंड ऑल्सो दि डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड स्विच एंड विथ इन दैट वी हैव ए मल्टीपल नेटवर्क विथ इन ए वर्चुअल एनवेंट लाइक वी मोशन नेटवर्क ऐसोलेशन वी मोशन नेटवर्क आलवे शुड बी ए डिफरेंट सीरीज एंड इस एक्स आई मैनेजमेंट ऐसोलेशन एंड वी स्पीयर वेब क्लाइंट ऐसोलेशन ऐसोलेट वर्चुअल मिशन ट्राफिक आलवे दिस ऑल नेटवर्क बी मेन्टेन विथ ए डिफरेंट वील एंड okay and another hardening practices for all areas and products within our vmware vsphere environment like it includes it applicable for all these areas like virtual machine layer esx layer vcenter and also other guest os applications layer as well what is that common hardening practices for all areas and products is it includes patch currency and identify and access management in other words acm access control management and remote logging monitoring and backups let's talk about patch currency that means install latest security patches and updates so latest security patches applicable for esx level like version updates 8.0 to 8. update 1 or latest release update 2 and similarly we sent a server update and upgrades and similarly virtual machine hardware version updates as well as virtual machine vmware tools updates that's why we mention it's applicable for all areas and products and identity and access management same like esx level access v center access and vm level access and also guest os level access and similarly we can create some service accounts on v center level virtual machine level and also guest os os level also we can maintain some service accounts so disable default accounts like disable the like administrator accounts within the windows operating system and change the default passwords always recommend to maintain the password should be complex and role based access controls are back and centralized authentication multi factor authentication and single sign on single sign on means sso vmware we centers uses sso credentials only and account lockout policies and we should maintain a unique service accounts and another key item is within the hardening checklist remote logging we should maintain a centralized syslog server for example if you are planning to use a vmware syslog server we can you use aria logs aria logs previous formally we call it as a vrealize log inside the recently realized name rename it to aria so aria logs also we can use enable logging to the appropriate levels so all the esx layer v center and virtual machine layers we can enable the logging mechanism and to forward logs to the centralized log collector so that can be a vrealize log inside or aria logs or we can also use any of the other third party tools like solar winds QV syslog server, or we can use any of the LMS servers like log management servers, and limit access to logs. And generally, log management is taken care by security operations team. And monitoring, we can use official VMware tool list, VMware Aria operations, and we can also use the native alerting from the VMware vCenter server alerts, or we can use any third party tools like Solar Winds NPM network performance monitoring, or we can use nagios or dynatrace ca nimsoft any of the other third party monitoring tools and last but not the least within our hardening another key item is backups so ensure our environment is backing up regularly we should maintain the backups for daily backup weekly backup monthly full backup and also the quarterly half yearly and yearly backup and also we should do the associated restoration test as well so this is the high level essential items on the vmware vspa hardening best practices checklist okay you can just compare within your environment whether you are following all this checklist within your production environment if not maybe some may be excluded some may have a exceptional depends on the customer security regulations okay and if you want to know about the more in detail concept of esx v center and virtual machine as you are aware previously we already covered the all the concepts suppose in the youtube you can search for gnan cloud garage go to the playlist tab you can see our vmware vspace 7 start from basic to until the advanced all the sequence of videos available with concepts and labs if you are looking for only the lab there is a 
home lab quick bites also available another playlist and for the vSphere 8 we have a separate playlist it cover the most latest new fee enhancement features and are covered within the vSphere 8 playlist i would recommend if you want to start learning from basic to advanced first go with the vSphere 7 and this playlist and then you can go to the vSphere 8 if you are interested only for the labs you can just go with the home lab quick bites okay and if you are looking for any other concepts like a, a backup scenario you can look for a jerto playlist and if you are looking for nsx there is nsx playlist vsan playlist okay and so even if you are looking for private cloud solutions vcf playlist also available okay hope you understand the essential vsphere hardening checklist that's it thank you if you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Gary channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.